Welcome to Lightsman's Ball. We got July period, first period up. Peach State. We got the Nike Invitational. We got Devin Mitchell going against Jalen Brown from Game Elite, Southern, um, Southern Kings. They're going to add it at Peach State. Both of them going back and forth. Both of them keeping the team in it. Game Elite took away the victory. It's a little testy going on. Both teams played well. We got Nike Invitational, Mac Urban Fire versus Georgia Stars, 16 and under. Very good game over there. Also good games. Semifinals game with Mac Urban Fire going against Georgia Stars. Now, first up, we're going to do the Georgia Stars against the Mac Urban Fire. This game was very well, um, very well played. A lot of high um, prospects in it. You got Eddie Morrow Jr., I mean, playing big, guys like that. Let's we'll take a look at these highlights and you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was the momentum. Uh, that's what we try to do. You find a momentum changer, and uh, Ed did that. Got the momentum. You know, I, I tried to get it the first time, but we ain't running the right. But the second time, it looked awesome. Yeah, I think it helped us get our momentum going, get us started moving how we need to be playing to win the game. I think they got like a little rattled. How to, we was pressuring them and just playing how we play. We pressure people and get up and down. Yeah, that, that changed the morale of the game with them. You know, they sort of got down. And uh, they sort of want to quit, but they battle, battle back. That's a good team, you know. Uh, uh, George Side, a good team, good program. You know, they battle back. But I think that took a lot out of my team at the beginning. Key to victory is coming together at the end and playing, uh, getting the stops when we had to. We play good defense. That game was a nail biter. Went down to the end. You got Lou Wayne Pippins from Bogan High School. Um, he is getting it in. He, he did very great leadership. You have Ed Morrow was playing big, very athletic, big guy, Simeon. I mean, he played on the JV team. Can he get in the game on the varsity team yet? Yeah. I'm expecting he's going to get a lot more playing time this year. He played very well. You have Cam Harris over there at Morgan Park. Caught an alley hoop, really set him off, get this going. But, I mean, I think, really think the X factor this game was Lou Wayne. From out of Bogan, the point guard, street, with the street toughness. Ran the team, was penetrating, getting big baskets every time he's seen it. Now we're going we got a profile of him. We're gonna take a look at his profile right now. Victorious to play in the championship the next following day. Now we got up now. It's a cross town rival, man. This this game was very, very interesting. It got real chippy for bragging rights. You know these guys see each other all the time. Some of these guys go to school together with each other, going back and forth. A couple of guys get ejected and all this stuff. And I mean, get heated about it. They won this game so bad. Like go back and talk back and forth on Twitter. Had a Twitter beef and all that stuff. But the big time name players showed up in this game. 
I mean, Devin Mitchell had his way in this game. Jalen Brown had his way in this game. He had a lot of guys stepping up in this game, like Marcus Sheffield, Dam Damian Wilson, all got Grant Bryant. A lot of guys stepped up big in this game. You can, you can see by checking these highlights out, it's real big. It's a real big, fun game atmosphere. It's kind of like a playoff game, like a, a Georgia State playoff game. How big, how big this rivalry is, and all this stuff. Now we're gonna look at these highlights and gonna see what is going on in this game. Uh, but this is my first time playing against Worldwide. I know, you know, I'm new to the Southern Kings Game of the Week rivalry. This is my first time playing against them, so um, it was fun. You know, I, I used to play against JB all the time, sixth or seventh grade, but that was when he was skinny and couldn't really do nothing. But, you know, I ain't played against, this is the first time playing against the, <laughs> the new JB, so, you know, he, he's good, man. He's, he's tough. I like playing against him. Uh, I've been playing against Devin since uh, GBL days, so I already know what he was bringing to the table. And I didn't already know what the Southern Kings were playing, bringing to the table, so it wasn't, we wasn't coming home with a loss. So it was personal. Well, we, did, we were down by a little bit, so um, you know, I, you know, my coach told me to score more. So I know I could take pretty much all the guys off the dribble. So um, once he told me to you know, kind of let it fly a little bit, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't a problem. So uh, I actually don't even know what happened. All, all I turned around, and uh, they were just going at it. So I don't know what happened. but. I'm sure it was all love. Uh, um, really, just to you know, make sure nobody do nothing stupid. Um, but which is, it was almost too late for it. You know, it was almost 50, 60 college coaches in there. So um, you know, everybody's got got their own type of profile. And uh, I really, honestly, just just um, didn't want anybody to mess themselves up. So we lost a mental game. That wasn't an X's and O's game. Um, they beat us mentally. You know, they kept their composure. Um, they've been playing together long, a lot longer than we have. Uh, next. Next up on License Ball, next show, we're going to have Session 2, the Elite 32, and we're going to have Big South, have highlights from all that stuff coming up to your, ne coming to your next show. I appreciate you joining us. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. Keep your comments going, keep retweeting, keep telling people about the show. Till next time, keep it locked to License Ball. We got you next session.